Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys on how to make a Minecraft 1.17 vanilla server. Let's hop into it, guys. Alright guys, so the first thing you're going to do is go ahead and head and link in the description, okay? It's going to be the first link. It's going to bring you directly to the Minecraft uh, website. I do want to advise in this tutorial, I won't be showing you guys how to port forward the server. If you want to port forward the server, I did make a video on this before. If you want to see a new one, just let me know down in the comments below. First thing you're going to want to do is download the Minecraft underscore server point dot jar. And also, we will need this command file right here, okay, in just a second. Just make sure you download this first. Now, what I do is I go ahead and I go on my desktop and I create a MC server folder. I recommend you do the same. We're going to go ahead and open up the server folder. And what we're going to do is we're going to drag our server dot jar into this folder, like so. Now, no need to rename this. I keep it a server and that's it. And you'll see why. Now, what we're going to do is right click in our folder. We're going to click on new. We're going to go to text documents and then we're going to double click our text document. Now, what we need to do is copy and paste, like I said earlier, right here, this Java script, and then we're going to paste it in here. Now, what I recommend you do also is under all of this, you type pause, because if you have any issues with the command prompt, it'll pause it for a second. So it doesn't shut automatically. So you can see maybe what's wrong. If you guys are having this issue, which this was the issue I was having earlier, I actually made a video on how to fix this issue. Go check that out. If this is happening right here, go watch the video in the description. It's a simple fix and let's move on. So what I like to do is erase the uh 1024 and i put zero two zero forty eight and i'm gonna do this for both right here one zero twenty four get rid of that two zero forty eight and there we go now we added two gigabytes of ram to the server now we need to this is going to be a run file this is what's going to run the minecraft server okay guys now to do this we need to make sure that this right here this right here is going to be the same as this Okay, and let me guys, let me show you what I mean. So we can get rid of the Minecraft and we can get rid of the boom. Okay, so now you can see that this is server.jar exactly like here. Now you're always going to need to keep the dot jar. Okay, now you might say, oh, well, I don't see server.jar here. It's a dot jar file. It doesn't matter. Just make sure it says whatever. If you have yours named Minecraft. Just make sure it's minecraft.jar. Mine is server. So mine's server.jar. I keep it nice and simple, okay? So once you have all of this, you're going to go to file, save as. You're going to rename this to run.bat or start.bat. And you're going to change this from text documents to all files. And you're going to click save. Now, once that's saved up, what you can go ahead and do is double click on the run.bat. It'll open up your command. It'll open up your command prompt. And it takes a little second here. Uh, you can see that it says fill to load this, blah, blah, blah. Just click on any button. It'll continue. You have to accept the ULA right here. It'll say it'll generate this file. Accept it. If you guys are having any issues, please leave them down in the comments below. I'm going to try my best to help you guys. So we're going to have to change this from false. We're going to have to change this from false to true. Okay. And then go here, save. And then now we're going to double click run. And the reason they do that is because when you're downloading a Minecraft server that jar, you just have to accept it, the ULA of the agreements to the Minecraft agreeing that you're allowing it to create the server. And now you can see that it's going ahead and it's creating the server. Now, if you want your friends to join, you can either get log me and Hamachi or you could get or you could just simply port forward your server. And it's that simple. OK, and once the port forward um, is done, the port forwarding, all you have to do really is go to your 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 Wi-Fi port. OK, so mine, for example, uh, you would just find your uh, IP, your IPv4 and your default gateway. And all, again, I have a video for this. If you guys want to go and link in the description, just click on that and it'll show you how to port forward so your friends can join. So now you can see that the, the, the server is completely running up. You can see that there is different new files now in the um, in the uh, in the uh, server, which is pretty cool. There's a lot of new files. This is your server file. We have the whitelist, the users, the ops and everything like that. So you can see now that the server is done. OK, so what we can go ahead and do is type stop. OK, and now it's going to go ahead and stop the server. And there you go. So now you have yourself a brand new Minecraft server. All right, guys, and that's just simply how you make a server. I'm going to go ahead and hop in the game to show you guys that it does work. And let's go ahead and hop in the game. All right, guys, so now you guys can see we're in the Minecraft 1.17. We're going to go ahead and go to the multiplayer. We're going to add a server and we're going to type in zero. Now, 
for you guys to type in zero, it won't work. This is just if you have your own local server, okay? If anybody's in your house using your Wi-Fi, they're going to be able to type in the zero and they'll be able to join the server. If you're not local, you're either going to have to use Hamachi for your friends to join, log me in Hamachi, or you're going to have to use the um, port forwarding, guys, okay? So as you can see now, we are currently in the Minecraft 1.17, guys. This is a brand new Minecraft 1.17 server. Now you can go ahead and port forward the server, send the IP to your friends, and that's it, guys. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know down in the comments below if this video helped you guys. I would really appreciate it. You guys are absolutely amazing. Thank you guys so much for all the support, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Adios.